Well, first I'd like to thank Dr. Upham and Dr. Gregg for their leadership and for their confidence in me to lead their program. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's truly a blessing. I can tell you that, uh, you know, this happened really quick, and these things do happen quick. Um, uh, I, I, when, I, when the job, when I looked at the Tulsa job and, and took, looked at the, the pass of this program, and you talk about guys like Nolan Richardson, you talk about guys like Tubby Smith, uh, guys like Bill Self and, and the success they've had in this program, that's why I'm interested in this program. That's why I'm here. And joining a conference, and, and Dr. Upper mentioned this, but uh, this is my transition for me. When I went to the ACC, when I went to Miami, we were just moving to a, a new conference also. We were just transitioning from the Big East to the ACC. Uh, during my time at Missouri, my first year, we were in the Big 12, and then we were transitioning to the SEC. So this is nothing new for me in terms of transitioning to a new league. Um, I, I think we have a great nucleus here in terms of our personnel. I'm very, I, I met with these young men last night, and they're great people. I, I, you know, over my 28 years of coaching, I've been a part of some really coaches, some really good players. But uh, the most important thing, you want to have great kids. Um, as a coach, we want to teach them how to play basketball. There's no question. That's important, how to dribble, how to be, work on their skills. But my proudest moments, so we've won some games. I've, we've won, I've won beat Kansas, Kansas. We've won in North Carolina in my career. But my most proudest moments are the fact that we graduated 34 out of 36 individuals during my time as a head coach. That's what I'm most proud of. Because for these young men, I would hope that then when they leave the University of Tulsa, they thought, they think, they feel like Frank Hayden taught them more than how to dribble a basketball. He taught them life skills. And that's extremely important to me, and that's what we're going to do here at the University of Tulsa. Um, I've spoke to a lot of people since, uh, you know, upon looking into this job and receiving this job, one being Paul Pressey. I, I coached his son at, uh, at, at the University of Missouri, and um, the rubber man, man, right? Is that what they used to call him? So uh, he, he, he spoke so highly of the community here and how passionate this fan base was. And that it really, truly excites me because as a coach, that's where you want to be. You want to be where there's passion. I also want to thank the University of Missouri and Mike Alden, his great leadership. And, and, and during my time there, he was absolutely incredible to me. Um, I want to stay, thank the student athletes that, that are still there at the University of Missouri. And that, that was the toughest thing for me to leave those young men. Uh, these transitions are hard. And sitting in front of them yesterday and talking to them, I did have a chance to visit with the guys before uh, I got on a plane yesterday. And I talked to them about you know decisions that I, I was going to have to make and that I was coming to Tulsa, and I thought it was important that I let them know because I think that what the worst thing is for things to start hovering over the Internet. And I talked to them about I would let them know once I decided. And I did that this morning, uh, as I did with Mike Alden. He, I tried to reach out to him last night. Uh, we did not connect or via the phone, but we did text this morning. And, uh, and, but those are, it was really tough for me to leave Missouri. It had to take a place like this for me to leave Missouri because I had a great experience there. My wife, my daughter, my son loved Columbia, and the fans were really, really good to me at the university. Um, the last thing I would like to touch on before I give you a chance to ask me questions is the, the little bit of that, and it's the elephant in the room, is the NCAA thing. I've seen you guys write about it a little bit. And I will tell you this, it was a, that was the most taxing time in my career, going through that process at, at the University of Missouri. Now think about this, when I took over that job, I was only there for about two months, and this comes out. They don't really know me. And uh, it was really, really emotional for me and my family to go through that. And uh, it lasted three years. And you can imagine how hard that was for us. Um, I take full responsibility for the things that, uh, that happened under my watch. Um, and I served my five games for that. Uh, I wanted to appeal the process. Or, or my uh, legal counsel did want to appeal the process. But we chose not to do that because we wanted to move forward. Uh, the university, uh, I thought that was best for the university, our players, our program, and my family. And that's why we chose not to do so. So uh, with that said, I'm here to talk about the, our experience here we're going to have here at the University of Tulsa and our, our, the foundation we're trying to build here and how excited we are about being here and being a part of your family. Questions from, me, from media. I got a call um, uh, from Mike Alden uh, Thursday that uh, he had been contacted by Tulsa 
And from that point on, uh, once uh, there was written permission, uh, we were in conversation after on, on Thursday. Anything else? This is easy. <laughs>